Rodman. Good morning, Mike from the Pipe Doctor, 516-348-6300. Thanks for watching our YouTube video. We're trying out a new product today. This is the Testo 300, and we're doing a tune-up on this Burnham P206, 164,000 BTU gas-fired boiler. They have a indirect water heater set up as the third zone here. And they have a heating zone for upstairs and ground floor. And my initial reactions with the Testo 300, it's a little complicated. Um, when you first go into it, if you add customer information, it really wants you to add the information to it in order to save it. And then if you go into equipment type, it even becomes more annoying. But right now we have our test probe. We have a hole drilled. Um, below the draft hood. We uh, keep the probe about halfway in the flue pipe. And our numbers right now, we have 11.9, well, 8, 7, 8, 8.5 of O2, zero PPM of carbon um, monoxide. Our gross efficiency is 78.8%. CO2, 7.17%, our stack temperature of 432, and uh, ambient temperature in this room is 71 degrees. I'm just gonna put that right there. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. We're gonna uh, back out of that for a second. Again, first time we're using it. See, why won't I, why can't I go back? Home button. See, what am I doing wrong here? I could uh, cancel. There's a gear button. Let's cancel that. Press the button up there. Okay. So here's an example. Calvin's gonna do the honors. We're gonna hold it just like that. Now, this is what's annoying. We're gonna go to a new customer and we're gonna do a customer name. Let's say I didn't wanna put a customer name. I just wanna put a last name in there and I'm gonna write test, okay? But I can't, if I try to exit out of this, it's unsaved changes screen. So we're gonna uh, ignore that. We're gonna go back to add customer and I have to put a test name there and then I can hit save so it's saving customer so now we're there and if we go to measuring site this is where it gets kind of messed up measuring site so let's do a new measuring point so now here I am in the screen here and let's go to system model let's do Burnham Two oh six. We'll save that. And if I go try to go back, same thing, right? So let's ignore that. And again, I have to type it in again. Like I have to give it a name there. This is a little bit of annoying, you know. To save, let's just discard that. You know, to save all this information, discard back again. Here I am. But I would recommend not using the address and location feature to uh, save customer data in here. I don't think it's worth it, but it's pretty cool.